Australian Outback and Waterboro, Maine. Exodus and Ice Cold! Well, David, I don't know what kind of doctor that was. But did you see the poster had a flea collar on it? A paw, paw like for dogs, I think. We'll get to the bottom of that, David, but nonetheless, here we see Team Exile, Genesis, Ice Cold, and their self-appointed leader, Genesis. And this is the first time that we've seen them, David, ever since losing in the finals of the trios tournament. You can tell in their faces, David, that there's major disappointment, but they're still here as a unit in WOW Women of Wrestling. And their opponents from Ocala, Florida and Buffalo, New York, Santana Garrett and Americana, the All-American Girls! That's a great point, David. Not only did she pull the wool over the eyes of Team Spirit, but she also did the entire WOW fan base and, of course, Team Exile. But now we see one of the best teams here in WOW Women of Wrestling. It's Santana Garrett, former WOW World Champion, teaming up with Americana. They're the new All-American girls, David, and they certainly have captured the hearts and imaginations of our WOW fans. They certainly have. Santana Garrett. members, Ice Cold and Exodus. And Genesis is on the outside, Eddie Burks in the ring, our referee for this opening competition here tonight, and wow. The jackets come off of the All-Americans, Eddie Burks says, let's get it on, get them outside, and let's get the bell, and let's do it. As the bell rings, Americana for her team, taking on Exodus for the team of Team Exile. David, speaking of tag team action, you just made the matchup, the big six-person tag team matchup, Team Spirit versus Top Tier. That is our main event, but right now, Exodus takes Americana to her corner, tags into ice cold, and look to take early advantage of this tag team matchup. This is interesting with Genesis on the outside as the All-American right now, Americana going in against Ice Cold. Ice Cold twisting way on that left arm of Americana. Americana's in the wrong corner, Nigel. She certainly is, and you have to think that uh, the team of Exile has certainly more experience as a unit. The new All-American girls still relatively new to their tag team uh, journey, if you will, now, as Americana powers out side headlock back to Exodus. You know, she's been under the mentorship of Santana Garrett, but has done her fair share of training at the WOW Superhero Training Center, and it's really shown in her in-ring action, Dave. There's no doubt about it. And also taking a trip down to Orlando to meet with Santana Garrett and her nice family, because she's a lover of dogs. That's right, they both share those common interests, and I know that we both share common interests in seeing some of the best action, and we certainly have that coming up, David. Our main event is going to be explosive, but also let's not forget, David, Tag Team Championships on the line here a little bit later on tonight. The Mother Truckers in action now as we focus back on this matchup. Americana going, looking like for a backslide on Exodus. Connects, Exodus able to power out. The mother truckers are here tonight. Big Rig Betty and Holly Swag in the house night. And right now, Genesis is being towed by Americana and Santana, if you will. Americana with both legs. Exodus able to power out. And Exodus didn't seem too pleased the last time we saw Team Exile compete as it looked like Ice Cold was taking some of her double team maneuvers and stealing them. But right now, it looks like Americana and Santana Garrett working in a great tandem, David. They seem to be on the same page. They're well oiled, the All-Americans. Now, fans, coming up next after this match, we're going to have Gigi in there, Gigi Gianni and her partner, BK Rhythm, and Little J Boogie. That's right, they're gonna be here and in action. Of course, BK Rhythm will be taking on Holly.
Soledad, who believes David, violence is for everyone. Now, Team Exile, Exodus, and Ice Cold working well together. Ice Cold dropping the elbow and freezing any attempt of Americana to continue in this matchup, possibly for her team, David. Fans getting behind Americana right now. You know, David, the whole reason that Santana Garrett came back to WOW was to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with her former tag team partner, Amber O'Neill. She came to the aid of Americana and was able to help her out. But now, David, what do you think the motivation is? Santana Garrett has accomplished everything there is to do in WOW. Do you think she sees that kind of future in Americana and wants to continue to pave the way for up-and-coming superheroes? I think you're right on that, Nigel. I believe so. She definitely does. Santana Garrett, the kind of competitor that we are proud to have in the WOW locker room. A locker room leader now as Exodus connects with an attempt of the DDT. I don't think she got everything she wanted out of it, but Americana staying as resilient as ever hanging in this matchup. And Americana tags in to Santana Garrett. Here comes Santana Garrett flying in, now taking down Exodus. Another takedown. House of Fire now is the former WOW World Champion, Santana Garrett, cooking at full speed. Santana Garrett, waist lock. Exodus hangs on to the ropes, but Garrett fires back. What a heck of a forearm, David. Side rushing leg sweep. And Ice Cold in to break up the pin. Ice Cold now standing back in the corner. Genesis is down. Genesis would be up to something tonight. There was a kick by Exodus. She took down Ice Cold. Santana Garrett slipping away from that kick. Santana now takes down Exodus. Santana Garrett hits the rope. And then we see the Lucky Bell standing moonsault. Hooks the leg of Exodus and the All-American girls walk away with the victory, David. What a matchup.
of BK Rhythm spitting a, a couple bars, if you will, David, to Holiday, but I don't know if there's any superhero that you might not get into the head with those kind of raps, it could possibly be Holiday. I don't think those raps did anything for Holiday's psyche in this match. And you're right, others that might get them out of their groove, but not Holiday. Oh, and you can see BK Rhythm saying, hang on, I might have to regroup here. That plan didn't work out. Holiday chasing BK Rhythm on the outside, and BK taking advantage now as Holiday rolls in. Good way to lure the superhero. Holiday now she tosses BK Rhythm to the other side of the ring, charges with a clothesline attempt and eats the purple canvas. Nice takedown by BK Rhythm. BK Rhythm going to town on Holiday right now. Holiday with a new look, David. New face painted, if you will, and maybe a new attitude. Yes, I understand Chandler Reagan from Albuquerque, New Mexico, sent in some designs and helped Holiday with that new look and design. And Holiday now backing up BK Rhythm into the corner, veteran maneuver, defensive type maneuver from Holiday now as she charges the corner and misses BK Rhythm. Just a half second off though, David. Bandera over the top rope and Holiday uses the top turnbuckle. You'll never see offense quite as unique as that of Holiday. Because violence, David, is for everyone. Inside. That's what she wanted to say, Nigel. I think you like it. I'm seeing you smiling. Well, it's certainly interesting to see this offense take a look at the power of Holiday. But tonight, David, violence might be for everyone, but tonight it's definitely for BK Rhythm. Big leg drop right across the throat of BK Rhythm, and Holiday, she's smiling, David. BK's in trouble. She's not laughing now, baby. No, and if she if she landed that leg drop the way it looked like from this broadcast booth, she might not be spitting any bars any time soon. Right into the top turnbuckle by Holiday. BK Rhythm hasn't taken a pounding like this. Now I saw little Jay Boogie jumping up on the top rope. Little Jay Boogie trying to distract it. I was wondering why. And there's DJ Gianni pulling off BK. She distracted Holiday. Gigi Gianni get the pin though. Yeah, she she got a distraction, but BK Rhythm could not get the pin on Holiday. Clubbing blow. Holiday fell. It was too close to the bottom rope. The referee broke up the action. Experienced wrestler Holiday, of course, rolled over just over to the rope to buy herself a little bit of time as BK Rhythm bearing the shoulders into the midsection of Holiday, but it's not enough to overpower the colorful superhero. BK Rhythm, boot right up against the side of the head of Holiday. Holiday hangs on. Pin attempt from BK Rhythm. Oh, BK really putting together the strings here. And BK Rhythm getting as close as she has been so far in this matchup to taking away the victory and pinning Holiday for the one, two, three. But this thing, David, is still far from over. BK Rhythm is really going to have to do a number to take out Holiday now, applying the submission and trying to weaken down the potential strength advantage that Holiday has. Holiday's not going to submit, I can tell you that. Some energy being given to BK from little Jay Boogie and Gigi Gianni on the outside. BK stretching out Holiday. And the more she makes Holiday work to get out of this hole, the weaker Holiday becomes. But Holiday catching a second win and breaking out of the submission hole. BK Rhythm, elbow strikes to try to get out of the way. BK Rhythm sends Holiday down one more time. Drop toe hold into that bottom rope. Look at this. Now, there you see it, David. They call that the album cover to Gigi Gianni and Little J Boogie. But I don't think they wanted to stay on that cover with Holiday too long. Well, Holiday is definitely being distracted from her wrestling. She's being thrown off her game tonight with Gigi and Little J Boogie on the outside. BK Rhythm just has been taking advantage of it, but hasn't been able to put all the notes together to get the victory. Holiday right now in what I would call a triantula, if you will, of the move by BK Rhythm. 
trying to pull back on the throat. Holiday keeping that left arm on BK's, keeping that pressure away from her throat. Holiday banging BK rhythm back into the turnbuckle. BK had to release the maneuver. Holiday picks her up, throws her off of her. And Holiday catches the leg of BK rhythm. Two elbows, knee to the midsection. And now Holiday sending BK midsection right into the ropes. I thought we were going to take her up and take her over, but she puts her over the ropes. A knee look at Mr. Wrestling number two will be proud of. Is it enough to get a three count? No, not quite enough. But Holiday now in full control. BK Rhythm trying so hard with that dragon sleeper that she had applied as she was on the back of Holiday. But somehow, Holiday turns the momentum of this matchup. BK Rhythm still in it, fans. She was almost out of it there for a three count. Holiday misses with the clothesline. BK flips up. competitors are going at it. The lip, obviously the blood streaming right there from BK Rhythm's mouth. BK Rhythm took something in the mouth, either a elbow, a punch, or a knee. She's bleeding from the mouth down. Now, trying to put a full Nelson applied to Holiday. Holiday breaking out of it. Reverses. BK Rhythm is going for the mic drop. BK Rhythm is able to counter the side suplex attempt from Holiday, but now Holiday has it hooked in. If she connects, she knows that's the darkness falls, David. And if she hooks the leg, yes, it's one, two, three. And violence is for everyone, but especially tonight, the BK Rhythm. So and smart. And her teammate from the Collins Kettle Club, the gold standard, Goldie Collins! Together, they are Animal Coach! And now, for the best in the And Goldie Collins, the top dog, the head trainer, if you will. Has brought it, welcomed in this new superhero, and now for the first time ever, tagging up with Katarina Jinx and David. Usually, cat, dog, well, they're not known to be best friends. No, they usually fight. Together, we'll see if that animal instinct keeps them together as a duo. We'll see if Goldie Collins, being one of the best trainers in the world, to translate itself to being able to control her tag team partner, Katarina Jinx. And their opponents from the truck stop capital of the world, Jackson, Tennessee. They are your wild world tag team champions, Big Ray Betty and Holly Swag, the Murder Truckers. David, I got two words for you. Hulk, Hulk, aren't you ready? The WOW World Tag Team Champions defend those beautiful purple and silver championships tonight against Animal Instinct, David. Well, the fans have taken to these two garlands from the Tennessees and Kentuckians in the south of America, the heartland, if you will. Holly Swag, Big Rig Betty, Swag Towing. I tell you, it's more popular than ever. People are calling Swag Toy just, I don't know, to beat the two. That's right, David. And hopefully for Goldie Collins and Katarina Jinx, well, Swag Toy won't treat them like roadkill. Oh. <laughs> 
we hope not. Here we go, Nigel, underway. Paige Prince of Ali says, ring that bell, and Holly Swag gonna kick things off for Katarina Jinx, her team, Animal Instinct. Holly Swag gonna kick things off for her team. Of course, the Mother Truckers. Katarina Jinx, we've mentioned how interesting of a competitor she is, David. And it's interesting to me, too, that the, the trainer, Goldie Collins, allowing Katarina Jinx to start out this match. Does she have a game plan in store? She certainly does, and that's taking Holly Swag down. Ooh, she scratched her across that back. And I've got a feeling that the cat's out of the bag, if you will. Holly Swag has a rash on her back. I learned from the trainers that maybe Katarina Jinx knew also because she raked those claws against the back of Holly Swag. Holly Swag tags in her mom right now. Big Rig Betty coming in against Goldie Collins. Let's see what happens in this match. And you hear the fans, David. You hear the fans excited for Big Rig to lock up with Goldie Collins, but Collins deep to the midsection. Tries to overpower Big Rig, but I don't think it's gonna happen quite that easy. Taking down the dog trainer with the Bulldog DDT. Talk about irony, David. And one half of the tag team champions now, Big Rick Betty, has Goldie Collins in the corner as she tags into her daughter, Holly Swag. We've seen this before, David. Swag towing the mother truckers, they call that the changing lanes now. Holly Swag going for the cover, hooks the leg, gets a two count. That's championship type of maneuvers, David. You gotta hook that leg to get the most leverage. Swag towing right now in control. Holly Swag in particular taking over on Goldie Collins. Big Rig Betty talking to Paige Principelli. There's a boot from Goldie Collins to Holly. Katarina Jinx mocking Holly from the outside. And I'd hate to be a disobedient dog under Goldie Collins' control, wouldn't you, David? Yes, I would. I'd rather be a cat and get some loving. All right, Goldie now takes Holly across that third rope. Katarina Jinx locks in the legs on her, choking her across that third rope. Katarina Jinx with that submission using the ropes. She, of course, only has until the count of five, but still a very powerful submission nonetheless, David. She calls that the cat tree, and this is a simple school goal. Roll up, will it be enough? No, just a one count, and Katarina Jinx fires back with a heck of a roundhouse kick to Holly Swag in the corner of Animal Instinct as Goldie Collins takes her time getting on the inside of the ring. She probably thinks to herself, Cat, you've got nine lives. Let me use up a couple of those. Take a look at the beautiful, stalling, vertical suplex. And it connects the blood rushing to the head of Holly Swag, the back crashing on the canvas, and Big Rig breaks up the pin attempt. Well, there's a miss shot by Big Rig Betty against Katharina Jinx as she slinks out of the ring. Goldie Collins puts the heads of Holly right to the mat. I gotta say, David, for a first time pairing, Goldie Collins and Katarina Jinx are certainly bringing it to the WOW World Tag Team Champions, Holly Swag and Big Rick Betty, you know, going into this. They were the unknown, but oh no! Holly ducks, Katarina clocks her partner, Goldie Collins. Goldie Collins goes down. Big Rick Betty comes in, takes down Katarina Jinx. Now she can see elbow smash. Goldie Collins. And Big Rick another clothesline for Katarina. Jinx taking out at least two of those nine lives. And Big Rig with the clothesline. Oh, Goldie Collins, side leg sweep, floats over for the pin. Will this be enough to retain the championship? No, you're gonna have to do a little bit more than that, Big Rig. Big Rig going for the Jake break. It connects. Down goes Katharina Jinx. See the champion still, the mother truckers, Holly Swag and Big Rig Betty. But David.
We just saw it as Team Spirit and Top Tier heading up to their, to make their way to the ring, getting into a quite a bit of a scuffle and had to be broken up by a security team. Well, Nigel, anything's possible now down in the dressing room. I'm glad the security was on top of it. And right here we see Top Tier. This was a matchup deservable for Ariel Sky and her team members because what Coach Campanelli did to them was disgraceful. No real coach would do that to them. David, you're absolutely right. And, and now, they're just so proud of themselves. Coach Campanelli, Candy Crush, and Gloria Glitter, the trio's champions, the inaugural, wow, trio's champions. And speaking of champions, David, you just made a huge announcement. The Beast is getting a championship opportunity from Abilene Maverick. I can't wait. And their opponents from Roseland, New Jersey, Huntington, Indiana, and Tampa, Florida, Ariel Sky, Pat Riley, and Sasha Sparks. Trio's tournament because I believe Coach Campanelli agreed, did she not, Nigel, to put the trophy up for this match? She surely did, David. Of course, uh, well, not usual circumstances, but in this case, I think it's completely fair that that trophy be put on the line because, quite frankly, Coach Campanelli changed everything at the beginning of that matchup. And Ariel Sky, Pep Riley, and Sasha Sparks certainly deserve a shot at that championship, that trio's championship trophy, but also retribution, David. Well, she called them the B team. Well, right now we're gonna find out who the real team is, B team or A team. Team Spirit in here against Coach Campanelli's team of Candy Crush and Gloria Glitter. Ariel Sky on top of Coach Campanelli right now. A little bit of technical scientific wrestling going on to kick this match up off. Certainly not what I expected when I saw these two teams fighting in the backstage area just on our monitors. But nonetheless, Coach Campanelli trying to use the experience of being a coach to outsmart Ariel Sky. But Ariel Sky using that athleticism to thwart off the offense from Coach Campanelli. Yes, here comes Gloria Glitter. Sasha Sparks in there. Sasha Sparks takes over Glitter. Glitter now. Arm drag by Sparks. Glitter. Drop kick by Sasha Sparks. Sparks goes for a quick pin. No good. All members of top tier exceptional athletes, but I think it's possible, David. I don't want to speculate too much, but they might have underestimated their competition, especially considering that, well, it was uh, quite frankly, Coach Campanelli called Team Spirit the B team. Tag in now to Candy Crush. We're in sync, Nigel. We sure are, David. Sometimes we're in stereo now as Pep Riley tries to hang on with the side headlock and certainly Crush has a lot more experience, but the heart of Pep Riley shining through. Goes for the cover, but Pep Riley kicks out at just one, David. You can tell how much and how important this means to Team Spear. No doubt about it. Here comes Coach Campanelli now. Short arm clothesline. And it's just the quick tags, the keeping their opponents in the corner. As soon as Coach tagged in, Gloria Glitter, Glitter tagged in, Crush. And Crush now follows it up with that running uppercut. Definitely a different attitude from Candy Crush, David. I never expected Candy Crush and Coach Campanelli to be friends. But clearly, I didn't know what I was thinking because they have formed a friendship and a team here with Gloria Glitter. Well, you can always expect the unexpected here at WOW. Keep up with us every week here on television. And if you're missing anything, check out our social medias. We've got updates. Everything's under at WOW Superheroes now. The up and over from Pep Riley, avoiding Coach Campanelli. And the cartwheel back elbow from Pep Riley. She's showing Coach Campanelli why she shouldn't have benched her. That's right. That cartwheel crash connected. And Pep Riley tagging in. 
to Sasha Sparks. Nice kick cut off by Coach. Coach taking Sasha Sparks into the ropes. Knee to the midsection. She got right up on her and didn't give her time off to step off of that third rope. Very smartly done by Coach Campanelli. Coach now puts the headlock on Sasha Sparks. In comes Glitter. Well, you gotta think, David, Coach Campanelli not only taught him everything they know, but she also knows those extra tricks. And now Gloria Glitter, boot right into the small of the back of Sasha Sparks, and just stretching into her entire body right across the knees is Gloria Glitter. Sasha Sparks counters, able to flip herself into a pin attempt and a jawbreaker for Sasha Sparks. Gloria Glitter falls into a tag of Coach Campanelli and now Ariel Sky in for her team, Team Spirit. Nice takedown by Ariel, top tier. Working as a team with fast tags, I gotta give them that. Ariel now able to take over Candy Crush. Ariel Sky doing it, now jamming her midsection of Candy Crush. Ariel Sky with the code breaker sends Coach Campanelli down, back handspring elbow. Nobody's benching Ariel Sky tonight. Ariel Sky, beautiful drop kick. Gloria Glitter in for her team top tier, but Ariel Sky not having any of it. She's a house of fire. She certainly is. Candy Crush breaks up the pen attempt, but I don't think that if Candy Crush wouldn't have been able to break that up, I think we would have seen new trios champions here. Remember, David, that trophy, that beautiful trophy is on the line in this matchup, if for one night only. Coach Campanelli, that patented signature spinning neck breaker connects in the middle of the ring, but it's all Coach Campanelli had. The only gas left in the tank now. As ooh, German suplex from Gloria Glitter to Ariel Sky, Pep Riley up on the second turnbuckle with a beautiful cross body. And Candy Crush kick to the midsection. The heavy bag gets Pep Riley and just slams her to the canvas. Crush, head driven in to the mat by Sasha Sparks. Sasha Sparks sends Crush out. Coach Campanelli quickly comes in and cuts off Sasha Sparks' momentum with a kick to the midsection. A buzzer beater by Coach Campanelli. Team Spirit had a good thing going. 